what's on your mind this morning? What's on your mind? What's playing in your mind and replaying over and over and over and over again, like a broken record, right? Our thoughts produce action. So say that with me, say my thoughts produce actions, right? And do you know that uh, neuroscientists say that we have at least 70,000 thoughts per day? Can you imagine that 70,000 thoughts per day? I wanna encourage you to take some of those thoughts and make them good ones. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So come on in image bearers. I want you to fix your mind on something else. If, if you've been thinking all negative thoughts, I want you to fix your mind on something else. Enjoy me, come on in, come on in. No, 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 we're gonna fix our minds today. Get your mind right, get your mind right. Fix your mind on something else. Amen. Hi, this is Pastor Carolyn from Tears to Breakthrough Ministries and Conference under the spiritual covering of Apostle Felicia Anderson of the House of Healing International. We are breaking through together. Declare this with me. Say, I am an image bearer made in the image and the likeness of God. Therefore, I don't look like what I've been through. Amen. I am who God says I am. I can have what God says I can have. I can be all that God has called me to be. I reflect God. And as I look in the mirror, I will see the reflection of God within me because I am an image bearer. Come on in image bearers. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Tears to Break the Virtual Conference Center. I'm your host, pastor, and purpose pusher, Carolyn Ritter Watson. So come on in, family. This is your morning wake up call, and this is your Tears to Break Through moment. And so today I want to just talk about your mind. How many know that mindset is everything? The things that we set our minds on the most will become a fact in our life. It will show up in your life. Those things that you meditate on, those things that you're focusing on, that thing will show up so big in your life. And then you'll be sitting there wondering, well, why is this always happening to me? Why are people always treating me like this? Why, why, why me? Why me? Why me? Woe is me. Well, why don't you start by getting your mind right? See, I need to get my mind right. That means that you need to fix your mind on something else. Fix your mind on something else. You know, scripture says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a woman thinketh in her heart, so is she. So that means that what's in your heart is actually what comes out. Scripture also says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so... Some of the things that just coming out of your mouth, some of those thoughts that you have is, is showing up because that's what's really in your heart. So some of us need heart surgery today, right? And the best way to get heart surgery is by getting in the word of God, right? So, so allowing God to change our hearts, right? And, and ultimately change our mindsets about certain things. And so, you know, we're still going through this pandemic and this corona crises right and people are having some crazy conversations i've just been having some crazy conversations with people people are losing their minds literally literally right and so i've had several conversations re recently and it really was putting me in a bad place and i was just like when i was praying i was just like lord you know i don't want to be in this space i don't want to be in this space where i'm just you know thinking about all of this negativity yes it's a fact that all this thing, all of these things are happening all around us. It's a fact that we are in a pandemic. It's a fact that you know we do have this noisome pestilence, this coronavirus, right? It's a fact. 
that some people are actually dying from it. It's a fact that some people are actually overcoming it, right? And, and being healed from it. It's a fact. But as a believer, Christians, Christian follower of Christ, we don't really follow the facts. We're kingdom citizens. So, so yeah, it's a fact that all this stuff is going on, but but what we do, we follow the truth, the truth of God, because what we see is what we see, but what God sees is so, it, it surpasses anything that we can ever see. And I just wanna encourage you today to fix your mind on some other things. Start, start speaking different words, right? Get rid of that, that, that negative self-talk, amen? That internal dialogue. That internal dialogue, that is your negative self-talk, amen. And I'm just declaring and decreeing today that God is fixing everything that's broken, broken in your life. Everything is being fixed. So God's going to fix it. He's fixing it because really only God can fix it. Only God can fix it. God is fixing every broken piece in your life right now. I just declare it and decree it. He's restoring unto you everything that has been taken from you. We know the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But we also know as believers that Jesus has come that we might have life and have life more abundantly. And so what are you thinking about today? What are you focused on today? What are you meditating on today? Fix your mind on something else. Because if what you're thinking about is not lining up with the word of God, if what you're thinking about every day, rehearsing, rehashing, and then allowing it to run in your mind over and over again, like a broken record, if it's not lining up with the truth of God, right? What God says about the situation, what God says about you, if it's not lining up with that, then you need to rethink some things. See, I need to rethink some things. See, I need to fix my my, I need to think about something else. Think, think about something else. See, I need to think about something else. You know, and, and then so some people are watching the news every day, all day. You have to stop that. You will literally drive yourself crazy, okay? Find some positive affirmations. This is the best way to... to affirm yourself it's in the word of god remember we are image bearers we're made in the image and the likeness of god so when we show up we show up like him we serve a powerful god right yes one who is creative one who created the the, the universe right created the heavens and the earth created you and me that means that we we too are creative so even though we may be in a pandemic God still get, has blessed you with some creative ability to change some things in your life. Amen. But you got to look past all of the negative stuff, right? And so grab your journal because you know I'm all about the journaling. We have to put it, pen the paper. When you write things down and, and, and have it, you know, written down where you can go back and reference it later and meditate on it later. And then, you know, we have our prayer journals, right? Write your prayers and thoughts to God so that you can go back and, and, and do what I like to do. Check my God history. See how far God has actually brought you, right? So write this scripture down, Philippians 4.8. Philippians 4.8. And Paul was concerned about the life of the mind. So he was encouraging, right? us to think about other things, to examine our minds, right? Examine our thinkings, you know, our thinking, you know, what is true and honest, right? As opposed to all of the things that, that you're seeing right now, you know? So Paul gives us a list and we're going to talk about that list, right? Paul gives us a list and he says to think on these things. I understand that some of you can't pay your bills right now. I understand that some of you may be very close to being evicted or your home might be foreclosed, close to being foreclosed on. Some of you, it may have already happened. 
but God is still God and God is still able. God can still do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think according to the power that he's already placed on the inside of you and me, right? God has already given us everything we need, but we just have to step back, say I have to step back and, and think about some things. Yes, times are hard right now. But what I, I, I did a workshop, I do workshops, my, our Wealth Builder workshops, and I often start right here. What has God placed in your hand? Start right there. What has God given you? God has given all of us gifts and talents. You know, we just have to start thinking, thinking differently. We have to start, uh, you know, stepping outside of our comfort zone. Some of us have been too comfortable for too long. And, and now during this pandemic, we, we, we're learning that we have to do some things differently and we have to step outside of our comfort zone, right? And so Paul is encouraging us to think on these things, right? Think on these things. And so I wanna encourage you to replace the negative self-talk that negative self-talk, that, that internal dialogue that you keep telling yourself, that internal dialogue that, that, that um, controls how you feel and, and, and what you say and, and how you behave, right? Because the way you think will become the way you speak and the way you will ultimately act, right? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, right? And so, you know... Um, there's a battle for our minds. Say there's a battle for our minds, right? And so we know that our thoughts produce our actions, right? So, so your thoughts are going to produce your actions. And that's why we have to start with our mind by getting our mind, you know, wrapped Getting our mind right, getting our thinking right, fix your mind on something else. See, I will fix my mind on something else. Amen? So we're going to fix our minds on something else. And so, so even in that, we have to be careful with whom we're hanging out with, right? Because if you're thinking negatively, if you if you're operating in, in, in um, negative self-talk and then you're surrounding yourself with other people uh, of like minds and you're all just sitting there having these dialogues every day, you're going to lose your mind. You're going to lose your mind. So, so you can't really get your mind right if everybody else around you has the same mindset. I'm going to say it again. You cannot get your mind right if everybody around you has the same negative mindset and you're just all feeding off of each other. And so God has, you know, our minds are so powerful. God has blessed us with such a powerful mind. You don't even know how we can actually rewire our brains. We can do that by changing our everyday habits, by by changing some of those people that you hang around that, that keeps feeding into that negativity, right? But, you know, God has blessed us with something, the, these, these, these mirror neurons, right? And, and our system is designed to pick up on other people's emotions. So if you're hanging around people who are operating in fear, people who are uh, operating in ex anxiety and they're always negative, then that stuff is going to, listen, that stuff is going to jump off on you. And you're going to wonder why you're feeling a certain way. Say spirits are transferable. <laughs> Absolutely. Spirits are transferable. It's transferable. And so we know that fear is a spirit. And I always say, if God didn't give it to me, I don't want it. So God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind, a well-disciplined mind. So we got to get our minds right. So if we're operating in fear and if we're hanging around other people that are fearful, that stuff is going to, you know, it's going to jump off on you and everybody around you. The same happens if you all decide this sound. We're going to think positively today. We're going to we're going to speak positive affirmations. We're going to speak the word of God. You know, we're going to fix our mind on something else, right? So I'm going to fix my mind on something else. I'm going to fix my mind on something else. So now let's go to our scripture, um, Philippians 4, 8. 
Paul says, think on these things. Think on these things. And so what I want to do is I'm going to read a couple of different um, translations. The New International Translation says, finally. So I, I just want to say to you, after all this stuff that's going on, finally, finally, you got a word today. Finally, Paul was saying, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things, right? And the New Living Translation says, and, and now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing, fix your thoughts. Say, I'm going to fix my thoughts. Fix your thoughts, Paul says, on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Amen. Is fear worthy of praise? Is, is anxiety worthy of praise? No, it's not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Right? And so, you know, um, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Say, I'm going to think about those things. I'm going to think about those things. So that means you're going to fix your mind on something else. Say, I'm going to fix my mind on something else. Not the negative stuff, but I'm going to fix my mind on something else. So we got to change our mindsets today. Amen. We got to change our thoughts today, today right? We got to meditate on something else. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. And so as you go through that list, right? As you go through that list, right? I want you to write that list down in your journal. I want you to focus and meditate on that scripture. So as you meditate on that scripture if, and, and really like see it as a list, right? When the negative thoughts pop into your mind, right? Or negative people come with their negative thoughts and their negative words, say, nah, uh -uh, not right now. I'm not doing that today. I'm fasting from negativity. I'm fasting from negative speech, right? I, I'm only I'm only speaking life. I'm only speaking what God says about the situation. So in order for you to know what God says about the situation, you have to actually get into the word of God, right? You have to actually have a prayer life and communicate with him, right? Yes, substitute that time, the time spent with God and allow the Holy Spirit to guide your mind, guide you into all truth, amen? Family, Fix your mind on something else. Say, I will fix my mind on something else. So that means that you have to turn off the television, turn off the news, get off of social media. And, and you know what? I, I actually, I use social media for ministry and I use social media for business. But I am actually not on social media that often. I'm not. I'm not on there. I'm on, I schedule my post, right? I show up throughout the day to see if anybody has any prayer requests or if anybody needs me for anything. But outside of that, I am off the social media because it, they've been posting some crazy stuff, all of this stuff. I don't want all that stuff in my spirit. Get off of social media. Get off of, I mean, I'm not saying get off of it totally, but, but begin to limit the amount of time that you're spending and exposing yourself to all of this stuff. We're, we're just opening ourselves up to all kinds of craziness, right? So I just want to encourage you. You be encouraged and not discouraged. And right now, I just want to pray. Father God, we thank you for this day, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice, Father God, and be glad in this day. 
We know that joy is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Happy, happiness is based on what's happening. So we know that we could be happy today and miserable tomorrow if that is our choice. Help us to keep our mind stayed on you, knowing that if we do, you will keep us in perfect peace. Hallelujah. And help us to practice what, what the, this list that Paul has given us. You know, to think on these things, Lord God, not not all of the negativity that's going on in the world, not not focused on all of the um, the negatives, because there's actually positive things going on too, Lord God. So help us to put it all in perspective, do the very best we can, Lord God, knowing that we can do all, we will do all that we can and trust you to do the rest. Hallelujah. Knowing that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Hallelujah. Help us to rely on you. Help us to lean on you, Lord God, and to not lean on our own understanding, but in all our ways, acknowledge you and you will direct our path, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And so I speak a, a third John blessing over everyone under the sound of my voice. I pray above all things that we will prosper, that we will be in health, even as our souls prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. This is Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher, and this is your morning wake-up call and your tears to breakthrough moment. I know some of you have been crying all night long, not getting sleep. I know, I know, I know, I know. Listen, I'm not sitting here thinking, you know, um, don't think I'm sitting here like I have it all together. No, I've had I've had those nights too. I've had those moments too. But then I I know I can't stay there. I can't stay in that place because first of all, there's too many people depending on me, right? There's 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 too much that God requires of me. There's too much work to be done, right? And you can't do that if your mind is 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 messed up. If you if you're Mine is consumed with all the negativity. So promise me that you will fix your mind on something else today. Say, I will fix my mind on something else. Amen. So listen, you be encouraged and not discouraged. If you need to reach me, I'm going to have a way that you can reach me. Just contact me and I would love to pray with you. I would love to, you know, just be there for you. Be Sometimes, sometimes we just need somebody to listen, right? Sometimes we just need prayer, but sometimes we just need somebody to listen right? Okay. I I'm there for you. We are breaking through this thing together. God bless you. Have a blessed and marvelous day, and I will see you the next time. Amen. Be encouraged and not discouraged, and fix your mind on something else. Say, say I'm going to fix my mind on something else. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.